For 94 years, the Country Women's Association of Western Australia has been at the backbone of rural towns. Their blue and white cookbook is an iconic part of most kitchens, but it might surprise you that they've had an enormous impact on WA history and community. It's not something that necessarily comes into the public view. I think if you took the Country Women's Association away, they would miss us. <laughs> From the very beginning, they have stood on the steps of Parliament, calling for changes to government policies, such as white lines on roads, bringing doctors to towns, legitimising children and putting pregnancy warnings on alcohol. Dr Bree McKenzie specialises in WA history and women's studies. You read stories about the efforts that women made to actually get to CWA meetings and it's, it's like pushing a pram for miles, you know, just so they can attend this monthly meeting, which must have been a real lifeline. The CWA has existed for such a long time, so how will they stay relevant and functioning through the next generation? The CWA has evolved along the way. Stacey Bell is a member of the newly formed Web Branch. Uh, the Web Branch is a new concept and we operate solely online. Um, so our branch meetings are done via video conferencing. Heather Allen is the state president of the CWA. The web branch is very new and I just hope that they do progress because it is something for people in isolated areas or women in the city who are isolated for whatever reason. Jake O'Brien is from Coolin and this year won the CWA Young Volunteer of the Year Award. At 17, he is an avid supporter of the organisation. They've still been able to play a vital role in providing money for things like Camp Cool and for people who are still disadvantaged in our society even though we're still progressing. Through their inclusive scholarships and traineeships available to male and females of all ages, the CWA ensures its survival through the next generation. The message that they're putting across is for all people so it's still definitely relevant. It was such a privilege to be able to be recognised for all the volunteer work that I do uh, by the CWA. I guess it was very important to me because my family have always volunteered. We've always accepted um, males for the Young Volunteer of the Year Award. The CWA is notoriously a non-political group, but state government cuts to education were enough for the association to make history with their first ever public protest, which soon catapulted them into a media spotlight. <laughs> Well, we believed in um, standing up for all the educational cuts. We have gained so many more new members because people are proud of what we're doing and standing up for. It took a lot to organise and to do it properly because there was no way we were going to disgrace the organisation. What does the protest mean for the organisation's political future? And people try to say to me, you're being more political. We're not being political, we're just standing up for the, what members are allowed to, or should be eligible to have. The Country Women's Association can act, act as a very powerful tool primarily because it hasn't been political and when it chooses to be political that's obviously very significant. So I, I suppose um, it would be nice to see them be more politically active because it's a very political time. Despite their recent media attention, the Country Women's Association holds on to core values of friendship and support for women. Is it really important for women to join together in community and talk to each other? Yes, I think it's always important. I think people who come into the association don't realise that intergenerational sort of friendships that happen as well, which is kind of which is kind of nice. Most West Australians may view the organisation as a group of women who bake and knit. What would you say to people that think the CWA is just tea and scones? I, I have an answer to that and I think, well, it's probably saved a lot of lives. Having tea, It is more than tea and scones, but does it really matter if we have tea and scones as well? Given the current political landscape and discourse of the time, having an organisation like the CWA is more important than ever, as they have been advocating for women's issues for over 90 years. I think probably the most important thing is a massive thank you to the CWA for all of the work that they do in every community, like it's a vital role that they play. I think they would miss all the members if they just all shut shop and didn't donate anymore. One woman can achieve anything Many women can change everything. Yeah!